The recent expansion of the nationally owned company, the Yumiyet Real Estate Limited in the southern region, particularly in the Milan Bay province, is a story of humble beginnings. Owner and managing director Eke Lama says it all began with just $190 back in 1979. Start law 1979. Law 79, one plus one man am giving me $200. That time was dollar. And then I start with $190 because $10. It's three hours low. Mimba walk about back low place, so Mimba him. Uh, cola and biscuits. I'm, this is like $190. I used to buy sherry coffee, low boost. Karam come low way got road long end, sell him, go back. Karam, some like store, kai kai go. This lay like giving me some like profits then. In year 2000, Lama moved to Port Mosby in search of business opportunities with the profits made from selling coffee. Only going as far as grade 3 in his education, Lama's interest and venture in business, particularly in the area of real estate, even at all age, caused him to take up carpentry studies at a mission school. 2007, Miko Beglo School. Taking three years, me established school, be a carpenter. Miko Lo, a school blow, one blow white man trained to be a carpenter, which is this one here. And then, after three years, Miko Bekna helping me see work one time more again because all learning me to be a carpenter. After that, me come back to most people. Me start in real estate. In less than a decade, Yumiyet Real Estate has grown. When asked why he chose Yumiyet as a name for his company, the ambitious yet humble businessman doesn't hide his intentions in taking a nationalistic stance, especially in the area of business operations. In this way back in 1990s, 80s, I went up. Port Mosby City, Hagen, Hagen Town, all towns are run by foreigners, like Chinese. Nobody one plan or Mosby that time running, running store. I am the one who said come in first and uh, open one supermarket down in Waigan. And then time me open this supermarket, me warn him Papua New Guinea line, all but put him like head all or same. This is you me yet. You and I are together here. Mm -hmm. I'm not Chinese. I'm not Australian. Mm -hmm. I'm me no outside man. Me Papua New Guinea man come work in business lawyer. Yeah, so from hundred and ninety dollars in nineteen seventy nine, Eke now owns eight hundred rental properties, six hundred land titles, four lodges, and recently a hotel. All properties all across Papua New Guinea. But like me talk, it's happened because I commit my time. I work Saturday to Saturday, 7 o'clock to 7 o'clock. That's why it's make it happen like that. 